food channel. So today I'm back with my traditional eggplant recipe. So it's the one you grind in the Asanka or Apotoyiwa. And I really hope you're going to enjoy my method of doing it. I know there are so many uh, different methods, but um, I think mine is great. So you need to try it. And if you enjoyed it, please leave me a nice comment down below and maybe thumbs up and I'll be very grateful for that. And then I'll see you in my next video. So don't forget to also follow me on Instagram and also on Facebook because I have a Facebook page. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Take care. So I'm going to use 10 eggplants or garden eggs. I also have here one onion, one medium sized fresh tomato and two small scotch bonnet peppers but you can use more if you want it very hot. And here on my plate I have two avocados. So the green one is from Uganda and the other one is the regular one. I'm going to use Kobe. So Kobe is a Ghanaian salted fish and also a piece of kako which is also salted. And I have here one prawn cube. I'll be adding two of these. You also need palm oil. So the one I'm using is Zomi and I believe it's the best in the market but you could use another brand of course you need salt to taste and I also decided to add eggs but of course it's optional we are going to enjoy this stew with yam and green plantains but of course you can eat it with coco yam potatoes or even sweet plantains so I'm starting off by cooking my yam and my plantain so if you ask me why I didn't peel it it's because um, I saw last week on Nana Mama Brand's new TV show new cooking show what Xiaomi Kwan was there and he was the one cooking and he decided to leave it on like this and he said it's because there were more vitamins so I said okay oh, me too I'm going to try this and we'll see <laughs> so that's the only reason but you have to peel it okay so I added my four eggs my washed Kobe don't forget to wash it okay and I also added a bit of salt don't worry it's not too much even if there's Kobe inside don't worry it's just fine and then you can cover it and let it cook for about 20 minutes on a medium heat and then I'm going to cook my eggplants or garden eggs with a bit of water for about 15 to 20 minutes so here I'm going to start my little stew so I'm chopping onions so I didn't use the whole of the onion here so this is half an onion I just left a bit let's say I use a quarter of this onion okay but as usual feel free to use more or less I personally like it when there's a lot of onion and then I added my two scotch bonnet peppers so usually I would add more but it's because of the kids and then I added my prawn cube so I'm first starting with one and then later on if it's not enough I'll add the second one and also you need to add a bit of salt And then all you have to do is to grind it. So make sure you have an apotoyuwa and a tapoli. Okay? 
to be able to grind it but unfortunately if you don't have it then you might have to use your blender but the taste won't be the same you know traditional stew is traditional stew so 20 minutes later my yam plantain and Kobe is cooked so I'm just taking a piece of it just as you see and please do not forget to remove the fish bones if you don't want to choke on it it's very important especially if you're eating with kids and then I added it in my asanka and then you grind it all together we normally use momone you know that stinky fish but I didn't have any and here I'm going to add my tomato but I'm not going to add it fresh like that I have a trick so what you have to do is just take a piece of foil paper wrap your tomato in it make sure it is well wrapped and stick a fork into it easy just like that my father is the one who showed me this and I've always been using this method when I don't want to cook it and then pop it on the stove and let it cook about 10 minutes and don't forget to turn it on, on the sides yes so this is another method and trust me it works just fine okay so my tomato is now cooked so as you can see yes so this is cooked it's soft and be careful because it's very hot you could burn yourself and then you grind it so this is an alternative method if you want you can boil it but this is faster and it gives a different taste so I'm now going to add my eggplants or garden eggs if we do not have eggplants you could use common aubergines and then you grind it but don't grind it too much because you want to have I mean you want to leave some pieces inside and then what you do just take a pan add in some palm oil add enough palm oil chop some onion in so I'll be chopping half an onion here but of course you can use less or more it depends on you and I just decided to use uh, a red onion because that's all I had in my fridge <laughs> I didn't have the yellow ones but it's all the same so this is how it should be looking like and then all you have to do now is to pop it on the stove and let it cook so I'm now going to add my Kobe and my kako so you remember the kako I added when I was cooking it yeah so this is kako and it's totally optional you don't have to add it but I have so many things in my fridge right now that I want to get rid of everything okay so yes I added my kobe and my kako so I'm going to let it cook for about 10 minutes so here I'm going to add my eggs someone might ask me why four eggs just because we are four <laughs> simple as that okay and then once your palm oil and Kobe and Kako is ready you can put it on your stew start with the kako and the kobe just as you see in the video now oh, it was smelling so good guys you have to try this recipe it's so nice okay you have to try it i'm telling you you have to try it <laughs> if you are a real Ghanaian like me you have to try it okay and then add some palm oil and 
mix it with a spoon make sure you have palm oil everywhere and add some onions on it yes so this is how it looks like now what do you think about it it's amazing isn't it yes it was <laughs> yes and now last but not least I'm going to add my avocados so what my husband likes is that I, he likes me to chop them in small pieces and then put it on top of the stew but you don't have to do that if you want, if you don't like it you can just eat them on the side okay so I used two avocados if you can get the African ones they are better they are softer and more creamier they have a better taste so everyone here everything is ready so you can see my plantain using ochami style <laughs> and it looks nice okay so everyone I hope you enjoyed watching this video and that you are going to try it and please give me a thumbs up leave me a comment and if you have any suggestion just let me know and I will see you very soon in my next video okay bye bye and thank you for watching